in the 450 division, finishing in third, riding for KTM, Red Bull, Motor X, Cooper Webb. Finishing in second, riding for Monster Energy, Kawasaki, Adam Cincerillo. And your winner, riding for Monster Energy, Yamaha Factory Racing, Justin Barsha. Congrats, guys. Uh, Cooper, just take us through the day. We found out after qualifying that you were dealing with the sickness. Um, how challenging was that? And I mean, just from start to finish, how were you able to kind of overcome and fight through uh, what you went through today? Oh, yeah, it was a tough day for sure. But uh, it's, you know, sometimes that happens. So it was good to, to go out and, you know, practice wasn't anything great. I think I was around 15th. So uh, that wasn't too good. But uh, I felt like when the race started, the heat went pretty good. And then at yeah, main event, just kind of plugged away and uh, had a decent start. And made a few good passes and uh, found a, a good little comfort zone there in third and just uh, kind of rode, rode it on in. Adam, you've had a pretty good off season. You guys have put in a lot of work and obviously you come into the opening round feeling confident in what you've done, but you don't really know until you hit the track and after free practice and both qualifying sessions, did it all kind of sink in that, yeah, the work was right, we're, we're ready to go racing? Yeah, I mean, you still have that little bit of, uh, you know, even after practice, you're still kind of wondering where you fit in in a race setting. Because, I mean, I've been around long enough to where there's guys that are, um, like Cooper, for example, right? He can go out and qualify 15th, and you know he's going to be there in the main event every time. It's just practice is, uh, I don't know. I've always felt pretty comfortable and felt like I could throw fast laps down. But definitely feel like I'm lucky enough to be able to kind of ride with Eli and ride with Ken. So I have a good gauge of, you know, where the speed is, and I know that I'm not you know, too far off or anything. So I felt like I had a good chance if I kept my head on straight. Justin, there's been a lot of talk uh, coming into this season about how you made bike changes, you started over and built the bike around you. And one of the things that people have talked about is that you went back to riding your way, which is more aggressive, rev it out, let it go. Um, was that the changes that were needed for you to be able to feel comfortable again? Because you did look, I'd say, more like old Bam Bam. Yeah, thank goodness it was a uh, it was a big off season. A lot of work, um, a lot of new employees at Yamaha. Um, it was very positive to see they were, um, they knew they weren't in a good place. You know, Cooper left, and you know we seen what Cooper did, and you know we went to the drawing board and um, changed a lot of things this year. Um, we still have a lot of work to do, obviously, but um, yeah, we reset big time. Um, we got Sergio over there now. Um, he's been around forever. Worked with James Stewart, Ron Villapoto, um, you name it. He's worked with them, so me and him bonded really well. Um, we don't have a test rider, so uh, yeah, I did all the work myself. I've never rode so much in my life, but really enjoyed it, and it showed you know you know everything I did. Um, you know, it worked tonight. You know, I've, I rode a lot of different tracks. I raced in Europe this year, and the bike worked pretty good everywhere. So it was, uh, it, I was, I was nervous coming in here for sure. To, you know, I wasn't sure, you know, what the bike was going to be like. I knew I liked it pretty much everywhere I rode. So, uh, yeah, it was good here. Definitely uh, exciting. Good things to come for sure. Without there being a test rider and you being that guy pretty much, is there things that you've learned the last two months that you didn't know before about a bike and just learning how to craft something towards your liking, to, you know, new yeah, things that you've learned? Yeah, for sure. We don't, we don't get factory parts from Japan. Um, that's just not really a thing anymore, um, at least for Yamaha. So we do a lot of in-house things. And um, for me, the bike's pretty, like, you know, chassis standard setup. Um, I'm running stock triple clamps. Um, you know, the engine we've um, – I, I requested a lot of things last year, and it didn't happen. Um, and this year, you know, when Sergio came in, the things I requested, he agreed with me, and it was cool to see that. Just kind of, you know, we, we, I, we got the things that I asked for this year, and uh, that was a good feeling to – you know, the things I asked for worked for me. So it was cool to, to see that. And it made me happy. And uh, I've, yeah, I've definitely, I think it helps a lot. I'm becoming a, a better rider all around. I've learned a lot of things about the motorcycle. I feel like I've matured a lot and a lot smarter. So it's, uh, it's, a, it's a good feeling to do your own work for sure. Adam, Alex, go go what was it like to be in 450s, obviously the longer race distance, but lead at around the sort of midway point 
what was that race distance like for you? Yeah, it's uh, it, it's quite a lot different. You know, you, as a 250 guy, you, you do 20s, you practice, um, you know, during the off season. A lot of the time you're doing the longer motos, 20 plus one or whatever, but race setting's always different. The track breaks down more. Obviously, you're going from a gate, so the heart rate's higher right from the get-go as, you know, a practice, practice motor, you're kind of getting into it, getting into your flow, but... Um, yeah, it was crazy, man, getting out front and, and leading. And I honestly felt – I didn't feel too nervous. Like, I felt more nervous last year on 250s and definitely the years prior. But um, just it's, it's crazy, man. There's so many good guys. It's like I just don't look over. I don't look right. I don't look left. I just pretend like there's nobody else out there. Like, it's the only thing you can do because everybody's so good. Um, yeah, so it was cool to kind of be up front in the battle. Justin, you talked about the bike changes, and we've heard a lot about that. Um, tonight's – some of the best riding I've seen you do, super aggressive. Weege made a comment about how quick you were in the corners. Um, how much of that is the bike, and how much of that is maybe just something with yourself, you know, that you've changed? Yeah, for sure. I definitely went back to the drawing board before the season. Um, the bike, obviously, uh, it, it was, you know, I won Anaheim last year, um, but it was a mud race. I think uh, any motorcycle can, you know, do a mud race um so and i'm a really good mud rider so um that was that was cool but then after that it was um a, a rocky road to ride for sure so um you know the bike is a, a big help um but i you know like i said i went back to drawing board um my really good friend um levi kilbarger we used to train together back in the day in 250s and um i brought him out to california and he worked with me on things he you know it, you can hire a trainer and you know you don't always listen to him or you, you know, I've had a lot of trainers and it just something never really clicked. Um, the best one I had was Jeff Stanton. I enjoyed working with him, but, uh, to bring a friend in that knows what they're doing and what they're talking about. And, uh, you know, he, he shoots it straight. He's like, you know, he'll tell me if I suck or if I don't. And, you know, other people, I just feel like these days just want to check and they'll sugarcoat it. So it was cool to have him on board. Uh, it was awesome today. Starts. Um, I haven't got good starts in forever, so that was cool to see all the hard work I put in at starts, and also my riding on the track was good. So it's uh, yeah, it was a, a little bit of riding and um, a lot of bike as well. Cooper, similar similar question to what I asked Dylan, defending champion. We heard Jason Anderson kind of talk about all the things that come with winning a championship that he didn't like doing. Did any of that put any extra pressure on you, or did it affect you in any way for coming into this year? I don't think so. I mean, uh, everybody handles it differently for sure, but uh, it's it was more of a, a confidence booster kind of knowing that, hey, you know, I was able to achieve that last year. So um, I feel like I kind of know what to expect this year. And, um, you know, I can do a lot of things a lot better than I did last year, but I kind of know how to, how to you know, achieve that goal. So uh, for me, I thought it was pretty cool, you know, to, to see the, the number one and, you uh, you know, here at Anaheim on the 450 was was very special. So, yeah, obviously um, it comes with responsibilities, but, uh, yeah, that's what we work for. Chris from Cooksey Media. Adam, what did you do to Justin Hill? He was trying to kill you every time he got a chance. <laughs> really? I don't I mean, I thought it was fine. No, I uh, – so the, one of the first laps of the, the heat race, I had to go super far inside because I think, I think it might have been Cooper. <laughs> Somebody was on my inside. And I felt like I was going to get plowed if I didn't go super far inside. And I kind of um, – I didn't run into him, but I, I kind of came out of the corner of his eye and probably, he was probably like, you know, what are you doing? But um, And then I, I made a mistake in the heat, and I, I went wide in the corner, and I was at the top rut, and he was totally going to get me, like no matter what. So I'm like, okay, cool, I'll just ride up here. And he – he came across all the ruts, and I was like, man, really? Like, I'm off the track again, and we're like three minutes into this thing? But, uh, no, it was it was fine. Justin's always been cool. He's always been aggressive, really talented rider. So, yeah, not trying to get any spats this early. Yeah, Dan Lamb, Moto Exotics. Adam, you and Cooper, you've been battling since, you know, Pee Wees. You know, Loretta Lynn's champions, Monster Cup, 250s now here. Talk about a little bit about just being on the 450 podium and being where you're at now at the pinnacle of the sport. Yeah, it's cool. Um, obviously, Cooper's had a great career. Um, I've had a pretty decent one. I've accomplished some things. And it's just cool that uh, I'm up here racing with all these guys. You know, it's, there's so many guys. And um, it's kind of cool that Cooper and I come from the, the same, I guess, generation, you know, one or two years apart. And um, I always enjoy racing them. So, uh, you know, as you can see tonight, he's sick. You, I swear you could take a foot peg off the bike. He'd still find a way to get a podium. So... 
no, he's he's a good competitor. All these guys, man. I'm just I'm stoked to be up here, stoked to be battling, and just want to be in the fight. Uh, Jason for Racer X. Um, first, sir Adam, you kind of said in the press conference yesterday, just try to stay away from the noise a little bit. There was a lot of hype, especially after you won Monster Cup. Then you were fastest in every practice. How did you not get too far ahead of yourself, or did you have to check yourself at times? No, I mean, I, I think sometimes in <laughs> Monster Cup was kind of a little bit of a surprise for me. So when I got done with that, I was I was pretty stoked with where I was. I'm like, okay, maybe I can be a contender like first year. Like I wasn't quite sure where my head was at going into the season until after that. I was like, okay, got some momentum. But yeah, I think it's a constant, you constantly, for me, Personally, I have to constantly level myself out because ultimately this stuff is so sick to me. Like I, I love this stuff. Like I would be one of you guys if I wasn't, if I didn't have the talent to race a dirt bike. I mean, I would be down there or, um, you know, serving popcorn in the stands so I could catch a free seat. I mean, I, I love Supercross. So, you know, just being up here with these guys and and racing them and even like I passed Brayton or like in earlier in the race i'm like dude that's like that's justin brayton he's been around a long time i mean i was watching like i was watching buds creek like oh three the other day and brayton was out there and i even that stuff goes through my mind and it's so it's a constant process for me of saying chill out like you belong here you're one of these guys um but it's cool you know it it makes the tough times of the sport better you know when you love it as much as i do uh, when you did make the mistake and lost the lead, were you able to, again, check yourself and say, okay, hey, second would be awesome in the opener, or were you frustrated? At one yeah, point? well, I mean, to be honest with you, I was like, so I, I felt really good. I made the mistake, kind of like knocked the wind out of myself, Justin just coming by me aggressive as he is, and I'm like, dude, I, I, I really didn't want to smoke. Like, I just, I was kind of good with second after that, to be honest with you. I settled a little bit too much, and like, Three, four laps ago, I told myself my trainer, Nick Way, he's going to be so pissed at me for, for settling. But Justin rode great, and I was uh, I made the mistake, and, and he was better. So second it is. So, Cooper, you got a pretty quick turnaround to St. Louis. What does your week look like now that you're sick? Do you work through it? Do you rest? What do you do? No, I'm not sure. We'll, I'm actually uh, headed back to Florida and uh, right out there. And uh, St. Louis dirt is always pretty good and stuff. So or I, th I think our dirt is pretty similar. So... Yeah, I'll try to head east and, uh, yeah, recover. I think it's just kind of like a, a little 24-hour deal, or hopefully. So, uh, But, yeah, it's a um, quick week for sure, but we'll do everything in our power to, to get back to 100%. Does Zach give this to you? Yeah, we're too busy hanging out, you know. <laughs> Justin Schuler kicking the tires. Uh, for Barsha and AC, um, usually when we see two riders – go after each other and go back and forth on track. It's usually, you know, one guy getting each other in the corner and then the other guy getting each other out driving in the woods. Nah, we're just sketchy, dude. <laughs> yeah, really well, sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you guys, you know, you, you, you're, it's kind of, it looked like the battle of, like, who's going to make the mistakes. So, like, Barsha, you make that little slip. AC goes by you. Little. And then AC, you make the slip. And he goes back by you. Like, is, is that more of a mental game versus, like, a physical game? I, yeah, we were just pushing it pretty hard. Um, my my mistake was huge and not little. I landed on top of the tough blocks. Luckily, didn't crash, pop off side of track, squirreled out, and got back on. But it was, uh, yeah, when I got behind AC, I was like, all right, just, you know, be smart. Try to reel in him if I can. And then I see <laughs> he seen he made a mistake, and I, you know, seen the opportunity and, and jumped in there. But, yeah, I, I think we were pushing it pretty hard in that, in that moment. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's Anaheim 1, too. So, um, obviously, the, the I guess the electricity is kind of in the air, for lack of a better term. And just excited out there and I really don't feel like I wouldn't have done anything different like I, I kind of spun out on the triple face and I hit the same line every lap and it's you know maybe I gave it just a tiny more gas and it slipped out on me so it wasn't one of those like brain fart deals you know it's one of those things we're just pushing hard and like I guess I'll front flip if I have to do it to win you know what I mean so it's just one of those deals where you're going to put it on the line uh for Justin you you won this race a year ago and you were really adamant about don't let the highs get too high, but did it almost look like at one point like a fleeting moment, like, man, am I going to get all the way back up there and win Anaheim 1 again? Is it almost surreal to just, you got a perfect reset. It didn't work out for a championship last year, but you're back on top again. It just took a whole year to get back and win again. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'll be honest, last year I wasn't comfortable on the bike at all, so that was a huge shock. Um, 
you know, I didn't, I didn't, I'm not saying I came here to win this race, but you know, I, you know, I wanted to be up there somewhere and consistent. And my main goal is obviously the championship. I want to be in the fight all year. Um, and I feel like where my motorcycle is at right now, I can do that. So last year I <laughs> physically, mentally, uh, you know, I won this race, but I wasn't, uh, you know, it probably wasn't my year and obviously it wasn't. So, uh, I think where I'm at now, I'm in a good, really good place. Um, you know, I, I was, once I got in the second, I was like, all right, you know, this is all right. Just keep plugging away and, you know, whatever it was, it was. But, uh, you know, like AC made that little mistake and I, you know, it fell in my hands a little bit. So I'll, I'll obviously take it for sure. It was great. But, yeah, I'm just excited, grateful, happy, all above. Jack from the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Justin, question for you. When you had your close call, how close were you to going down, and what was going through your mind as it was happening? Um, hold on for dear life, and I was holding that Yamaha wide open when I landed on those tough blocks trying to shoot off them. And, I mean, you just, you know, even like Forkner said, I think he got in the tough blocks a little, and you just never know what's going to happen when you hit those tough blocks. So, you know, I just I went uh, triple and got a little um, cross-rutted and just, you know, sent me right to the, the right-hand side, and I landed right on top of those suckers, and luckily I – just popped off and you know rode back on the track but it was definitely uh got the blood pumping a little bit i was able to regroup though ac got me pretty good and then i was able to plug plug away a little bit and yeah it was uh it was it was it was scary for sure <laughs> last question for you justin when you hit the tough box went off the track got back on looked like you had a straight line to the end of the berm and there was a yeah. number nine guy there. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Was there dude, I'm a gr second option no. possible? Because yeah. you I mean, did I let off at the last second. I could second. have T-boned AC for sure, but, but I'm, I'm not. I try not to be like that anymore. So um, if it was 250 days, I would have definitely. Oh, 100%. 100%. No, but, if I was Porcel, I'd be in the next lane. Yeah. 20, yeah. 2010, yeah. 2011. Dino. Yeah, it's not going to be good. No, no be good, not at all. I'm lucky I missed no, that era. I'm, I'm in this for the long haul and just want to have fun racing and. Today was fun. It was good race, and I, I I love it. I, like AC said, we live for this stuff. That's you know, if you're not in it, you're you're not gonna be up here. So we we love this stuff, and it's uh, it was it was awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for a great race and year. And uh, what, what was cool as well is uh, uh, Justin Cooper. Uh, you know, we're just both kids from New York that had uh, big dreams, and it's cool to see uh, two New York winners up here. So that's pretty pretty exciting. But yeah, just uh, stoked, ready for next weekend. Congrats, guys. Thanks.